robbers in a boy state attacked bullion van killed four police officers hi welcome to my channel how are you doing please watch this video to the end to see what transpired between armed robbers and the police officer that we are following the bullion van subscribe to this channel for latest updates thank you and uh, watch to the end gunmen yesterday attacked a bullion van in Airboy state and killed four policemen escorting the vehicle the robbers intercepted the bullion van at Ezambu junction in Ohauku local government area the van was transporting money from Enugu to Abakaleke, the state capital the armed robbers in a bid to intercept the van and craft away the money in it first fired at the escort van carrying the policemen four of the policemen were killed in the process while two sustained injury the state commissioner of police philip marco confirmed the incident he said the robbers tried the van from Enugu State. Marco added that the robbers were not able to steal the money as the driver managed to maneuver the van out of the area, he said. They damaged one of the tires of the bullion van, but the driver was able to escape with the van. They could not chase the van as the driver was driving towards the military checkpoint ahead. The commissioner said the two injured policemen had been taken to hospital for treatment while the bodies of those killed had been deposited at the mortuary. Marco said the police has launched a manhunt for the feeling robbers. Hmm. This is sad. Arm robbers fired at the policemen following the bullion van. And unfortunately, they succeeded in killing four officers. Such a pity. Now, come to think of it, this bullion van is one of the, as in, it, it, it is highly protected. Like, if you see how alert the, 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 the police officers following the bullion vans are, they are always at alert. And how these armed robbers were able to succeed in killing about four of them remains a mystery. You see? So they, now that they have killed this man and injured two, they said the driver of the van succeeded, even though they damaged the tire of the van. He succeeded in a, like, um, you know, driving or saving the money that the robbers did not attempt with the money now in recent times it has been police killing police shooting police doing this police doing that you know it is not recorded that the police were able to shoot even one of the robbers and the robbers killed four of them can you call it incompetency in the part of the nigerian police force like like they could not even like you know kill one person or even shoot one person that they have capture one person out of the gang so i don't know how this thing happened there but this report now is telling us that they successfully killed four police officers and they shot them it was shooting that they did they shot the four police officers and they died while the other two police officers that sustained injury they are still in the hospital and now no report on how maybe what the police did to 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 like to stop the arm robbers now it is all thanks to the driver who successfully saved the bullion van from this gunman because if not because of what he did they would have succeeded in making away with the money that is being transferred from enugu to abakeleke so people are reacting to this a lot of reactions a lot of people are saying a lot of things long long comments to this effect let us just go here and know what people are saying about this stay tuned 
Yeah, somebody here said the police are the architect of their own failures. They arrest robbers and free them and arrest innocent people and throw them to jail. They are the ones selling arms to robbers and cultists. If it's to flog and shoot people because of nose masks, they will be perfect. I no pity any policeman where they will die for this country because they are so evil as the robbers themselves mm. this is actually deep a very deep one somebody has said a sign of government failure if there are scripture employment available to nigerians with well-paying amount of cash I don't think anyone would like to risk his neck to join armed robber, knowing fully well it is a crime that can lead to their death. People who are hungry and does not know the way out can become hardened in mind to carry out any type of crime. But those who suffered in suffered it in long run are the security operatives that is just the genesis of the problem provide massive employment for nigerian youths with good amount of money and see if crime will not be curtailed in the, its best hmm. so in other words you are blaming it to uh, on the government who could not provide employment to to the citizen does it mean in the countries where they have employment that they don't have armed robbers there well, what i'm trying to say here is that yes the government have failed and kill people that are trying to survive in their own field it's such a pity may they are so rest in peace actually somebody here said when you arrest robbers kidnappers you compromise all because of money hence they become more hardened what do you expect, really? Another person here say, if bank could not donate billions for palliatives, they could as well buy small ale on plane for such shuttle. The policemen would have lived. Somebody here say, Nigeria, Nigerians police are very useless. How can whole country or group pack up dead bodies this way? Somebody here said, now the policemen have lost their lives, family members, friends, and even their jobs on the verge to save, federal, to save money. Federal government should do something to salvage unemployment in this country. Otherwise, nobody is safe, even in five years to come now. Really? Another person here is saying, oh yes, what goes around comes around. Police will arrest confirmed armed robbers, collect huge sum of money from them, and release them. Then tell me how can the robbers be same? How can the number of armed robbers be reduced in Nigeria? If you sow evil, you will reap evil. The death of these four policemen, though sad, is the consequence of recycling confirmed armed robbers in Nigeria after money has it has been exchanged this is rather so sad hmm. another one here is saying that yes i blame it on the government for not providing employment for these people because if they are gainfully employed i don't think they will become this drastic rest in peace to the officers so you see, almost all the people commenting on this is just blaming it on government for not providing employment uh, for the youth and the society. While some few people believe it is because of what the police officers are doing that this is actually karma because the police officers, according to this report, they say, who arrest confirmed armed robbers instead of them to prosecute them according to the law. They will go and release them because of they have paid huge amounts of money and then at the end of the day it will it will end up like making those arm robbers more hardened 
so that it is the fault of the police officer, Nigerian police force, who collects a token and release armed robbers that should be prosecuted according to the law. Let us hear your own side of the story. Please kindly comment in the comment section. Thank you for watching and bye for now.